Greetings hobbies, this is our Sands of Vool, and in this video we're going to have a look at how you can find your preferences to either save them as a backup or be able to move them to a different computer. So great question from a patron who really didn't want to have to go through the tedium of changing all of their preferences when moving Blender to a new computer, and unfortunately Blender doesn't really have a clear option for exporting your settings, so this can make that a little bit tedious. So let's have a look at how we can find this. Now, I've got a Windows computer, so I'm going to deal with that. If you've got an Apple device, I imagine there'll be something similar that will allow you to do this, but I don't have an Apple device and I'm quite thankful for it. So on your keyboard, you're going to tap the Win button and hit R, and that's going to bring up your Run option, and you're just going to type in App Data. I've already done this previously, as you can see. Click OK, and you're going to come up with your file, and you're going to have these three different options, and you want to go into Roaming. Once you go into Roaming, you'll find that there is a Blender Foundation option, and in there you've got Blender, and you've got your previous versions of Blender that have been saved to this. So I'm in Blender 3.6, and if I come into this and then go into Config, you then have your startup file, which is how you save your preferences. For example, on my Blender file, it automatically sets up like this with my cavity on and without the camera and so forth. And all you do to save that is go File, default and save startup file and that will save here so you can also move that across as well you also have your user preferences now your user preferences covers things like your themes and key bindings and things like that so both of these are worth copying so all i do is select those copy them and then create another folder for me to save those into and at any point that i want to i can then come back delete the relevant file and then paste in my one that's got my preferred settings making sure that you keep the names the same so just to give an example of this i've made a file i've just called it blender settings so i've got it saved there and i've copied both of these into here so the one on the right is what it actually is the one on the left is what i prefer it to be so we can see this quite easily here if i go into my viewport and go to vertex mode i have my vertices is a little bit bigger than people normally have just to make it easier to see and easier for tutorials now if i go to edit preferences and then come into themes 3d viewport and go all the way to the bottom you can see where i changed that so i can change my vertex size from six i'm going to put that up to like 16 and let's change the edge width to something like eight just to make this really clear and then finally i'm going to save my preferences so now if I go into vertex mode, we're going to see this really, really big edge and we're going to see these massive vertices, probably far too impractical to really use. Though maybe someone would like it like this. Now if I go out of that and then file and then new, let's not save this and come in here. We can see that all of those settings have been saved because I saved my preferences. So let's come back to those files. And what I'm going to do is come over here and delete my user preferences from my configuration. So this is where they're saved. Then I'm going to copy those user preferences from where I saved my backup, paste them into here, and then I can just open up Blender again. And once you've done that, go into vertex mode and everything's back to the way it originally was. So this is your way of saving those files, transferring them to someone else if they like your file setup or a new computer, or just acting as a backup in case you make a mistake and change something and want to change it back quickly. Have a great day, guys.